Hey y'all, it's Monica, King's Titan Homestead. Uh, first you're gonna see is um, trap outs. And uh, I set up three of them recently. Um, one of them's been ongoing, but it's been having some problems because I set it up during winter and it was really slow going. Um, I had a pack rat that was in cahoots with the bees and kept chewing a hole <laughs> so that the bees could get back into their place. Um, so I think I got that fixed. And uh, so that's what the first one is. The second video section is at a different location, not very far away. I think they're like within a quarter mile to a half, hour, half mile of each other. And this one had two hives inside of a block wall. And basically they're about 50 yards a piece. And what you're gonna see is a short little video of um, my help. Uh, the homeowner was one of them. She was cock, bee, uh, she had her bee, my bee suit, one of my bee suits on, and she was cocking it up um, in the places so that the bees couldn't get into any other holes uh, while my helper Jennifer was um, uh, trying to vacuum what was coming out because we attempted a forceps gone first and it didn't work. Um, so then we were setting up the trap outs. And then the other one I didn't video, but we're going to go back and check those um, on some of the future um, videos here coming up. So um, probably tomorrow um, is what I got to go back and check them again. And then we went hiking. So I enjoy some um, desert clips and then I'm in the garden before I have to go do a bee removal tonight. So, and I'll probably share that with you. We're going to be digging bees out and trying to abscond them from a well-established hive from under an olive tree. Okay, they're using my box. They can't get back into the funnel. I've got all the holes plugged. I used a Loctite uh, cock this time. <laughs> and um, hopefully this is it. They are a lot more active than what they were before because of the temperatures and of course they've got all kinds of forage to uh, bring back so um, hopefully this will not take very long. I haven't seen a worker bee come out of the funnel in a while so I was hoping just to kind of watch for that but I'm gonna have to leave here pretty soon and I will be back next week I'm actually just doing another another trap out actually two more trap outs within a quarter mile of this one came out of the trap out. Oh, yuck. I don't do spiders. I don't like spiders. No. Oh, gosh. Look at her. And I was just like trying to close that a little bit more. Not fun. Okay, that was a first. <laughs> Okay, this is a test I'm doing. I uh, planted a purple bell underneath my uh, broccoli that's coming along and my cauliflower that's almost ready. Yeah, I'm probably gonna harvest this one here soon. And the reason why I mention this is because our last frost date is March 15th and here it is February 17th and so we could still receive some uh, cold weather and so I'm hoping that the leaves from these that can take the cold will protect the pepper and I'm also going to try to remember to cover it as well. Okay and these are also my experimental girls. This is a Tasmanian I believe chocolate. This is a black black beauty eggplant. 
you can tell they're she's wanting a flower already um and then that one over there is a cherokee purple and this is just an experiment like i said um i'm way early about a month early on planting these but i figured if we don't get any more deep freezes these are going to be doing just fine and um amanda's got most of the majority of my starts still in her greenhouse 